the, the point is at one point she said to me, the difference between men and women, me, because what I was, the advice I was giving her or talking to her about her, the situation she was in is she said, the difference between men and women is that women need closure and men don't. And I said, well, I don't want to break it down like that, but I will say the difference between me and what you are looking for is I think men need closure but with me, closure is acceptance. It's not why did this happen, it's it happened. I may never understand why she cheated on me, but it happened and I accept that. I don't know why we broke up, but it happened and I accept that. I don't need the whys. Um, I did something she didn't like, therefore she did this. The butterflies went away in the relationship, so found someone new. To, to replace the butterflies that feel, you know. And I think you're very correct in a lot of the stuff. I, I don't know men, women, right? Like, I think that when you say, when she said men don't need closure, I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. Like, I know dudes who are still pining over their girlfriends from high school that they haven't seen in literally, it's somewhere between anywhere, because there's several of them between 15 and 40 years, you know what I mean? Yeah. So clearly dudes need closure. But I, I think that you may be right in the sense that closure means acceptance. I think that's what it means for everyone. I guess we, we may just all get it in different ways, or maybe not. Like, maybe it's not a male-female thing. It's just a personal thing, right? Some, some mm -hmm. people need to say it. I mean, you just needed to get it out of your system, to release it into the air somehow. Some people need to write it in a letter form and light it on fire and watch it float away. And other people need to say it to the person's face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And see the person not give a shit, right? <laughs> see the person go, sorry, but I'm going off with so-and-so. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, whatever it is. Like, but that moment for some people breaks them, right? But then for other people, it makes them. It's that, that's the moment, right? Like, I could think of one of key moments where, like, I was at a jam session and just fucking at a jazz jam session, just humiliated by the band. The band leader just said some, oh, I sucked at the time. I had no business being up there, but I was a kid. And that doesn't mean I deserve special treatment, but it was clear that I was in way over my head. I didn't want to get on stage. And then he kind of humiliated me in front of people. And that, and I went home and that made me double down on practicing. I was like, fuck that motherfucker. Like it, 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 it didn't break me. Do you know what I mean? It, it shaped something in me. It gave me a sense of resilience. Do you know what I mean? And well, so maybe I needed, not that I needed that, but I needed something to, to do something. And, but everybody has a different reaction to those moments. That's and everybody what I was needs say, so a what, different what, what version break of one that person. Moment. What will break right. one person will motivate another, and that just motivated you, right? And you know what it is. I mean, there's a, there's a, there's there's just times in my life where I can look back at it now, and I can see the moment that broke me, and it was just something somebody said, and it wasn't even always meant to be mean. Sometimes it was like some kind of backhanded bullshit, you know what I mean? Some kind of passive aggressive shit. But sometimes somebody just said something that was true. And I didn't want to accept that it was true. And the acceptance of that truth, like the denial of that truth kind of was a breaking point to a degree versus the acceptance of that truth. And, and then the ability to move forward, right? Like